celebrating the triumph of orthodoxy, glorify our good God above all else, who is blessed and forever. This is our God, who took thought for and established his beloved inheritance, the Holy Church, setting her foundation in paradise, comforting with his true word our forefathers who fell through disobedience. This is our God who directed us to his promise of salvation, left himself not without witness, but foretold the coming salvation, first through the forefathers and prophets, and by many images gave a lively description of it. This is our God who by the prophets of old often spoke to the fathers, and in these latter days spoke to us by his Son, by whom time was created, who declared the goodwill of the Father towards us, disclosed the mysteries of heaven, confirmed the truth of the gospel through the power of the Holy Spirit, sent his apostles to the whole world to preach the gospel of the kingdom, and confirmed it by various powers and miracles. Following this saving revelation and holding this gospel, I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten of me. and the 
Holy Spirit are not one God. Anathema. Anathema. were not necessary for the, our salvation and the cleansing of sins. Anathema! 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 Those who reject the grace of redemption preached by the gospel as the only means of our justification before God. Anathema! Anathema! Oh, 
those who now labor for orthodoxy and by saving faith and virtue prepare themselves for eternal beatitude. To our most holy patriarch Joseph, to our Archbishop St. Nicholas, to the most reverend Orthodox metropolitans, archbishops and bishops, and to all clergy, keep them, O oh Lord, for many years.